Hey guys, in this lesson we will understand how to find the trigonometric ratios for any angle from 0 degree to 360 degree or if we are given the ratio how do we find out the angle from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Here we would not specifically talk about special angles, it could be any angle. Let's say we are asked to determine the value of the following trig ratio. This is sine 35. We know this 35 degrees is not a special angle. So whenever we have to find out the trigonometric ratio for an angle that is not a special angle, we use calculator. So all we have to do is just plug in sine 35 in the calculator and get the answer. And the answer that we get is 0.5736. This is up to four decimal places. Most of the times it would be mentioned up to how many decimal places the answer is required. Next, if we want to find out what is 10, 110, we just put in 10, 110 in the calculator and we see that the value that we get is negative 2.7475. The reason we would get a negative value is because of the cast rule, 110 degrees lie from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. So this is a second quadrant and second quadrant is a house of sign. So it will be positive for sign and it's reciprocal. We are looking for a tan ratio, that's why the answer would be negative. Let's do another question. The question says use the related acute angle to state an equivalent expression. The steps for this we have to follow is same as the steps that we learned in the previous lesson. First step is to find the quadrant in which this angle lies in. We know in the unit circle 0 to 90 is first quadrant, 90 to 180 is second quadrant, 180 to 270 is third quadrant, and 270 to 360 is fourth quadrant. This is 160 degrees, so we are in the second quadrant. Second step is to apply the relationship between para and beta. And since we're in the second quadrant, so we would apply the second quadrant relationship that is theta is equal to 180 minus beta. As we're looking for the related acute angle, so we would isolate beta. So beta goes here, theta goes here, we would be left with 180 minus theta. Theta is 160 degrees. Therefore, beta will be equal to 180 minus 160, which is 20 degrees. Third step is to rewrite the question in the form of related acute angle. Our question is sine 160. So we would rewrite sine 160 in the form of related acute angle. So we know the value of sine 160 and the value of sine 20 is going to be same because the trig ratios for the related acute angle and any angle that has a relationship with the related acute angle in the other three quadrants is equal. The only difference is the sign, positive or negative. So for that would come up step number four, where we have to use cast rule to confirm the final sign. Because in this question, angle is 160 degree and we are in the second quadrant. And second quadrant is the house of sign. Therefore, the sign values are positive. So the final answer, sine 160 degree can be written as a positive of sine 20 degrees. This is how we get the final answer. So that is equal to positive sine 20 degrees. We'll apply these steps to the second question as well, where again we have to write down an equivalent expression for tan 350 degrees in terms of related acute angle. So the first step is to find the quadrant. 350 degree lies in the fourth quadrant because the value is in between 270 and 360. So this is quadrant number four. Second step is to use the relationship between the related acute angle and the principal angle for quadrant four. And that is 360 degrees minus beta. We are looking for beta, so we would isolate beta. So we will have 360 degrees minus theta. 360 minus theta is 350 degrees. Therefore, beta is equal to 10 degrees. Third step is to rewrite the equation or the question in the form of related acute angle. So we have to rewrite tan 350 degrees in terms of tan 10. We know the ratios are going to be equal. Fourth is we would use cast rule to determine the sign. And the cast rule says that in fourth quadrant, cosine exists as positive because it's not this because it's not the house of tan so tan in fourth quadrant is going to be negative therefore the final answer we would write it down as tan 350 degrees would be equal to negative of tan 10 degrees that means the ratio of tan 350 and ratio of tan 10 is same however we have to take the negative of the tan 10 ratio in order for it to be equal to 
tan 350 degrees. Therefore, the final answer we get is negative tan 10 degrees. Let's take up another type of question. The question says for cosine 285 degrees, use a sketch to determine in which quadrant the terminal arm of the principal angle lies, value of related acute angle, and the sine of the ratio. So we are looking for three different things. What we have to do for this is first we would make a sketch. We would make coordinate axes. Let's mark the angle 0 to 90, 90 to 180, 180 to 270, 270 to 360. 285 would lie in between 270 to 360 so we would make it somewhere here because we are supposed to mark the principal angle we know this is our terminal arm this is going to be our principal arm principal angle is always from principal arm to terminal arm in counterclockwise direction so this is our angle 285 degrees so this part sketching is done next is we have to find out the value of related acute angle we know we're in the fourth quadrant and quadrant four root for related acute angle is, you know, theta is equal to theta we are given because it is 285 degrees. So we would use the relationship between theta and beta. Theta is 360 minus beta in quadrant number four. Related acute angle, which is beta, would be equal to 360 minus theta. 360 minus theta is 285 degrees, which is equal to 75 degrees. Therefore, the value of related acute angle that would go here is equal to 75 degrees. Next we have to find out the sine of the ratio because this is cosine that lies in quadrant number 4 and we know according to cast rule quadrant number 4 is a house of cos so the ratio is going to be positive. Therefore we would finally write down cosine 285 degrees is a positive ratio and that's how we do this type of a question that's another type of question that we have is to determine all the values of theta to the nearest degree if theta lies in between 0 and 360 degrees so here we have to find out the value of the angle if you're given the ratio now for part a we have the ratio given as sine theta equal to 0 0.4815 and we are looking for theta in order to find out theta we would isolate theta and isolating means we'll move sine on the other side so when sine moves on the other side it becomes sine inverse of 0.4815 let's write on the steps of doing this question the first step is find the inverse of the ratio why do we need to find out the inverse is because this ratio does not lie on the special triangle so we have to use a calculator to find out the inverse of this ratio so in this particular case theta is equal to sine inverse of the given ratio 0.4815 all we have to do is in the calculator you have to press second function for sine and the ratio the angle that we get is 28.5 78 degrees since they are saying that we need the value of theta to the nearest degree so it has to be whole number so we can round it to the nearest whole number it becomes 29 degrees step number two is now why do we need step number two this is already one answer we would need step number two because they want all the theta values that lie from zero degrees to 360 degrees we know every ratio value is repeated four times two times it's negative and two times it's positive according to cast rule we know all the ratios are positive in the first quadrant that's how we got an acute angle by taking sine inverse of a positive ratio so this is one answer the other answer when we would see this ratio to be a positive ratio again is in the second quadrant because second quadrant is positive for sine so the second step is to find the other quadrant that would contain the answer and the answer is the given ratio for this particular question it is quadrant number two as the second quadrant is going to be sine positive step number three is for quadrant number two we would use the rule and we know theta is equal to 180 minus beta we are looking for theta for second quadrant that is equal to 180 minus beta beta value is going to be same as the theta that we got in the first quadrant remember this thing theta of the first quadrant is equal to beta for the rest of the quadrants so we would use beta as 29 degrees and the answer that we get is 151 degrees therefore the final answer for this question is theta from the first quadrant which is 29 degrees and theta from the second quadrant that is 151 degrees this is how we find out the angle theta when we are given a ratio 
for any trigonometric quantity and we notice here that this ratio was given to us as a positive ratio what if the ratio is given to us as a negative ratio that is part b we are given cosecant theta is negative 2.3424 and we would be following the same steps now when the ratio is given to us as negative there is a little change in step number one we rewrite the question that is our step number one in terms of beta so we would write on cosecant beta instead of cosecant theta and the ratio would be positive in this case because the beta ratio is always positive now once we are done this we have to find out the value of this beta in order to find out the value of beta what are we going to do is we would isolate beta so we would have to move this ratio on the other side and put that on the calculator as inverse However, on the calculators, we never see these reciprocal trig ratios. Therefore, if we are given a reciprocal trig ratio, we first have to change it to its primary trig ratio. So we can write this as sine beta is equal to 1 over 2.3424. And the ratio that we get is 0.4269. That is equal to sine beta. Now we would isolate beta by moving this sign on the other side. So we get sine inverse of 0.4269 and the answer that we get is 25 degrees. This is our beta. The reason we have found out beta is to help us find theta in the required quadrant. Now how do we know which quadrant is the required quadrant? That's always the cast rule that will help us. So cast rule tells us where is cosecant going to be negative because we are specifically because we are specifically looking for a negative ratio we know cosecant is reciprocal of sine so wherever sine is negative cosecant is going to be negative and sine is negative in third and the fourth quadrant therefore we would find out the theta value from the third quadrant and the rule for third quadrant that relates theta and beta is 180 degrees plus beta which is equal to 180 degrees plus 25 degrees that is 205 degrees similarly we can get theta for fourth quadrant and that is 360 minus beta we know 360 minus beta is equal to 25 degrees that would give us 335 degrees therefore the final answers that we have obtained is theta from third quadrant that is 205 degrees and theta from fourth quadrant that is 335 degrees and this is how we get the angle when we are given a ratio in negative form let's do one last question that is of another type we're given the point negative 8 comma 3 we are supposed to draw the sketch of the angle using this point how do we do this we make coordinate axes we know the point is negative 8 3 so let's say negative 8 is here and 3 is here therefore the point will lie here now always remember the point is the one that is going to make the terminal arm with the center of this coordinate axis so we would use the point to make the terminal arm we will calculate the of the other this terminal arm with this principal arm will make this angle this angle is principal angle that is theta so this is how we sketch the angle given the point so part one is done next part is to determine the value of r now r is the radius of the circle now always remember the length of this terminal arm will give us the radius of the circle because the terminal arm always touches the periphery or the circumference of the circle so this is how the circle would look like now if you want to find out the value of r we would have to complete the triangle using the terminal arm and the nearest x-axis always the terminal arm and the nearest x-axis would help us complete the triangle so we would produce a line from the tip of the terminal arm to the nearest x-axis and this is what is going to give us a right triangle now this side of the triangle is going to represent x value and this side is going to represent the y value because the point that helped us form this terminal arm is negative 8 
3. Negative 8 is the x value. 3 is the y value. Therefore, this x is negative 8 and this y is 3. Now, to find out the value of r, because it's a right angle triangle, we would use Pythagorean theorem. So, it's x squared plus y squared square root the whole thing. x is negative 8 square. y is 3 square. When we take the square root of the entire thing, we get 64 plus 9. And this would give us a square root 73. And that is equal to 8.54. We can write it as units. Next, we have to write on the primary trigonometric ratios. We know they are so katoa. So sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. For this particular triangle, opposite is y value because it's y over r. Y is 3 and R is the radius of circle, which is 8.54. Or we can leave it as square root 73. Similarly, we can get cosine theta. That would be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. Adjacent is X value, so it's X over R. That would be equal to negative 8 over square root 73. And tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. So always remember tan theta is equal to y over x and y is 3, x is negative 8. And we notice here that the sine ratio is positive, cos ratio is negative as well as tan ratio is negative because we are in the second quadrant. Now we are supposed to find out the value of theta. To find the value of theta it's always good to use that particular ratio that is positive. So we need not do that extra step of changing it to beta. So we have sine theta is equal to 3 over square root 73. This is exactly the same thing that we did in the previous question. We isolate theta by moving sine on the other side. It gives us sine inverse of 3 over square root 73. We'll put this on the calculator and see what gives what value we get for theta. And the value in the nearest degrees is 21 degrees. Now we would notice that this 21 degrees is the angle that we would get in the first quadrant because this is an acute angle. Whereas we are in the second quadrant, so therefore the theta we have to find out is for the second quadrant. So we would use this angle as beta and we would find out the theta for second quadrant and that is 180 minus 21 degrees. That is equal to 159 degrees. And this is our final answer for theta.